It's time to check in with the mayor of Niagara Falls, Jim Diodati, on his uh, new time Tuesday mornings. New time <laughs> slot for the I Jim know, Diodati you know, show. I feel bad for my one fan, uh, my mom and my dad. You know, I had to keep telling them to ch change the day. So uh, now they're tuned in. Now they're ready. They got their popcorn, their coffee ready. Oh, good. Well, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, of course, uh, you definitely couldn't uh, visit us yesterday. You had a very jam-packed day as the premier visited Niagara Falls and the tourism minister and that funding uh, that was announced. Uh, the now, the money talked about yesterday, that was from the budget, correct? Yes, it was, and uh, and I was joined by uh, uh, City Councilor Cario and some state local stakeholders and some other local mayors, and it was great because the Premier, along with the Minister of Finance and Tourism, listened, and they got to hear from business owners and operators, and not just tourism, but a number of different businesses to find out what their challenges were, where they needed help, because the important thing is if, if they don't survive the pandemic, all the help in the world isn't going to help them after they close. So it was really great to hear them firsthand talk talk about, and there's a Minister of Finance, uh, and they talked about some of the challenges like insurance rates doubling and tripling and being unaffordable and, and then banks not wanting to free up some of the money. And, and, and the frustrating part is the banks have got the money, but they don't want to release it to these businesses. We don't know if it's because of risk or what it is, but they got to firsthand say their frustrations and their challenges. I mean, it's been a tough year. And we know it's not going to get easy fast, but they need all the assistance that, that the province can give them. And I have to say, the province was great. They're very gracious. They spent the entire day with us. They listened to everybody. And uh, now we're ready to take some action to help all these businesses. Well, that's encouraging. And you had the ear of all these uh, key players. Did the word casino come up? It did. It did. And, uh, and you know, the premier, you could see and hear the frustration in his voice. He said, believe me, he goes, I want to get these businesses open. He goes, we just need to make sure that it's safe. And, and of course, he's following provincial health guidelines. And But you could just hear the frustration in his voice. He knows the casino is the number one employer here in the region. He knows tourism is our lifeblood, and it's been literally shut right down. He knows the borders have been closed. He could see, I mean, we were waiting for the tumbleweed to blow across the street to really show how tough it's been but he heard us and it was we had some very frank discussions and and he understands he's on board but again they're just making sure that it's safe as we slowly open up the taps here yeah and uh, we can expect that border to reopen Do you have any updates since we spoke last we know that it's april 21st that it's been extended to and um, any are you hearing any word that that's the last extension well, you know, no, but uh, but the main thing we're trying to say is if people have their vaccinations and they can prove it, we're suggesting, we're supportive that they be allowed to cross. And that's an incentive, further incentive for people to get vaccinated. So so we're the goal, of course, July 1st, 4th, is that going to be the timeline? We're thinking it could be, but it could also be August. I mean, the sooner the better. Uh, tour, American tourists represent 25% of all of our tourists and 50% of all of our revenue. So it's important, and especially the fact that they will all be vaccinated. If we can prove that we are, we're saying let's start to do it gradually. Yeah, on the tourism front, uh, you gave a tour of the power station yesterday, and uh, that Canada Day, that's going to reopen with a great 3D interactive display. Yeah, that's a $25 million new attraction that's going to happen in the Niagara Parks Commission. It's going to open up the July 1st, 4th weekend. It is going to be amazing. This Every school kid in the province is going to want to come. Every teacher is going to want to book a trip there. It's authentic. They're going to preserve all the heritage. And at one time, this provided a lot of the power for all of Ontario and Western New York. Well, now it's going to be a museum, but really interactive, 4D, educational, fun. And you'll be able to walk down a tunnel right to the brink of the falls. It's going Very to be cool. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, final section of the citywide trail system that's being so, completed now. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I'm glad you asked about that. You know, we've been working on this for 20 years. Finally, the Millennium Trail, which totally bisects the city from north to south, we're doing the last section, and it'll be 10 continuous kilometers of trail, and it's great. We took back some of the green space, the wild turkeys, the wild flowers, the songbirds. It's a great way for people to be able to walk, get their exercise, get some fresh air, and do it without going on busy roads. So we're working on that right now. Nice. Uh, back to business, downtown business. The uh, BIA is doing a ribbon-cutting ceremony celebrating a number of businesses. 
Yeah, so today when I'm done here, I've got my running shoes on right now, Bob, you can't see, but we're going to be ribbon cutting 15 businesses in our old downtown on Queen Street, the authentic downtown. And anyone that wants to follow along on live stream would go to at Niagara Falls, or I'm sorry, at downtown Niagara Falls. And there you'll be able to follow along as we cut 15 new businesses. And we're really excited with the, the GO train station being downtown, with extending the major uh, thoroughfare, Thoroughstone Road, right to the downtown. That area is going to become a real buzz area. It's going to be a great fun area like it used to be back in the day. Oh, that's great news. Okay, and we look forward to more great news as uh, we get through this thing. We'll talk to you at your new time Tuesdays on Morning Live. Don't forget to remind mom and dad next week. Well, they'll be waiting. Okay. <laughs> They're my biggest Thank fan. you, Mayor Dio Daddy.